Y'all done pissed them off. I'm man. telling you. And hey, y'all pissed them off. And when y'all get in these comments, somebody said we look like we should be in the Netherlands section of a museum. What was that they, even they, about? They called us Neanderthals. Oh, Neanderthals, my bad. I, oh, okay. I'm they sorry. called us fucking cavemen. I, I, I was driving and I saw Netherlands, but Neanderthals. So we're Neander, Straight we're cavemen. cavemen. That's what you think. <laughs> I will never put my hands on a woman, but I'll drag a bitch with my tongue. Stop playing with me. A Neanderthal. <laughs> We're not white. You know, white people have Neanderthal in them, not not black people. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> man, you're hilarious. That's I, funny. Because, man, I, I have to laugh to get some levity to this conversation. Right. I'm tired of playing this. this there, there is no gender war. It's me being kind and you taking my kindness for weakness. And as soon as I decide to be hard, you're like, why are you being like that for? And then even in my anger, I'm still going to stare at you stern and you're going to suck this meat. This is the revenge <laughs> of the man. Hey, we bringing masculinity back, man. This we getting y'all. We want y'all to grow some man. balls. We want y'all to get some balls out there. Hey, I don't think women are our biggest enemies, though. I, I'm telling you, it's the simp. It's the simping men. Because every time it. OK, how many times you've been on Facebook and you're going in to check a misandrist? And uh, thank you for saying the word. Yeah, because that's what they are. You're checking the misandrist and a, and a simping man comes in and oh, or maybe more. And oh, ooh. from the 90s. I don't want no short, short man. Nah. Itty bitty, teeny weeny. Yes. OK, y'all been sitting over here body shaming men for 30 years. And when I call you a fat bitch, you get mad and call me a misogynist. <laughs> hey, you know, I've. I've talked about that. <laughs> how women will talk about penis size. And you know what? How about this? When they are done with the man or they feel like they want to shame this man, they will talk about his endowment. They will talk about his penis size. But you're also correct. If you say you don't want no big woman or you don't want no fat chick, it is a problem. But I'm going to tell you what that says. You What's know what up? that says? There's a weaker link there. They're very childlike. Things that they complain about are very childlike. Men, you are in leadership roles. I expect a child to talk to me a certain way that I wouldn't talk to them. And that's what we experience with women often. If you want to share your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings, go get yourself a girlfriend. When you come around me, it's a motherfucking to help me accomplish my mission so I can be on my purpose or to take this dick. And that's it. <laughs> you want a friend? Man, go call 1-800-GIRLFRIEND. <laughs> Not me. This is the revenge of a M-A-N. Huh? Call me by my name. If you don't want to call me man, call me sir. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.